everybody, it's Catherine. Welcome to my channel where I'd like to talk all things fragrance and beauty. So this is part two of my Sephora recommendations, but it's not really Sephora recommendations, it's just recommendations really. I'm listing all of my favorite go-to products in all of the categories. So it's kind of like a laundry list of everything that I buy on repeat. First part was skincare products, body care products. Now on to my makeup, best ofs I'll say. Best of so far, to date. Um, first, I did put my toner on, I put my essence on, I put my serum on. I'm going to put my Le Concentrate by La Mer. Today I'm gonna to use a uh, Time Response Cream by Amore Pacific. Very nice moisturizer, great smell. I'll do my Essence of Skin Caviar Prairie. Again, any of you La Prairie experts out there, if you see how I'm doing this, if I am doing it wrong, please let me know. You tap in with your fourth finger. You wanna tap, not smear. You wanna move the skin around, again, as little as possible. So I'm tapping, this is the thinnest skin on the rest of your body. So that's why it enables the capillaries to show through. I've had dark circles all of my life, so it's not just an aging thing. I've heard it's if you drink too much fruit juice, if you have a lower immune system, if you have asthma, I am all of those things. But regardless, so there's my skin essence. Then I'm going to take my little spatula with my clay de peau, get about a pin size amount And then you can use this side to massage it in. The cooling effect will help with your puffiness. Also, the massaging will help with circulation. The more massage, the more circulation, the more that it revs up your collagen production. More is not always better, mind you, because if you put too much eye cream on, it can plug your glands, and that's when you get your little milia. Milia are those teeny tiny little bumps that you tend to get. If you have extra, you can put it on your or your, what do they call these, 11s? On to recommendations. Uh, two primers, which I am really enjoying, which I would uh, encourage, are either Yves Saint Laurent's uh, Blur Primer, a touchy clot blur primer. It actually comes in silver or gold. I like the gold. Again, YSL is having a sale currently. Buy one, get one free. I would go that route versus Sephora because obviously it's a better deal. The other is Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk. Love, love, love this one. It is kind of a smaller bottle. It's only one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters. Armani, very often get them products from Armani for like 40% off if you go to the site directly so I, I would recommend that versus Sephora as well. I'm going to use whoops okay so Armani Luminous Silk I kind of rotate in between beauty blenders and a BK1 contour brush. The thing about blenders is you can use the same thing all the way through. So I'm just spreading my primer around for liquid highlighter uh, I'll give you three options here we got the Iconic, which I'm gonna to use today because it just looks super cool on camera like this. Uh, the other would be Armani's. It's in this bottle. I can't think of what it's called right now, but it's more of like a blush highlighter. And then the third would be Chanel's uh, Rosy Light Drops, which are also beautiful. You can only get them from the Chanel site. Something to keep in mind. No, just check this out. I just think it's so cool. It's like I'm putting on gold foil. It comes in different shades. I got just the original. It also is awesome if you wear like a low cut top for like your decollete. Gives your skin like a glass like look to it. For foundations, I use two pretty loyally right now. Again, my Luminous Silk, Giorgio Armani in 4.5 or Chanel's by Lumiere Aqua in 32 beige rose. I also have Chantecaille's Future Skin, uh, which I also enjoy. I'm kind of in between colors, so I have to mix two different ones. It's oil-free and it's more of a gel, so that's nice. Sometimes my skin likes it more than other times though. And again, with the rash that I have going on right now, I'm just gonna stick to my go-tos. Isn't it so fun having sensitive skin? Anyway, like I said, I would definitely recommend just getting Giorgio Armani from the Giorgio Armani uh, website itself. It's the most cost-effective option.
All right, eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is a difficult one. I um, really enjoy the Pat McGrath palettes. I think that her eyeshadows are very high quality, very pigmented, and um, you don't typically get a lot of fallout, which I enjoy. Uh, they're usually about $125 for the larger palette. Again, Pat McGrath does 25% off often on her site, so I would wait and not get them at the Sephora sale and just get them from the Pat McGrath website. That being said, Tom Ford, this is a great time to get it. And Tom Ford, oh my gosh, I got one of his quads last year and it multiplied like a gremlin. Uh, I think now I have, what, five of them, but they're remarkable. They soon became one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow brands. They apply smoothly, not a lot of fallout. The color doesn't seem to get lost on my eyes sometimes. They blend beautifully. I mean, just all in all, this one would be my favorite. It's Mercurial. Next favorite would probably be Honeymoon. Pretty similar to this one, but more of a brown, more of a golden brown. Again, like I said, pretty similar. New Dip is also a beautiful one, but it's just a little cool for me. Pretty Baby is also pretty. They're not like the most outrageous looks, obviously. More of a subdued, natural, glam look, but just beautiful, beautiful colors. Eye Primer. This is pretty much the only one I've been using, which is Fenty Beauty. It's in Invisipink. It's a great primer without making me feel like my eyes are like gunky. Like some bases I've tried, it's like they're so thick, it makes my eyes feel like they're, they just have too much on them. Uh, but this is just silky and just provides a light layer for the eyeshadow to adhere to to get a bit of a stronger color. So again, Fenty Invisipink. And then, being that I haven't done it on film yet, what I'm going to use today is my Chantecai Baroque eyeshadow and just do a simple look. Just this beautiful purple shade. I'm gonna take just a basic flat. This one is actually by Stila. a little bit of a fallout but the color is just beautiful again when you apply eyeshadow where you put the brush down first is where you're gonna deposit the most amount of color so I always like to start middle of my eye and then blend out notice how where the light shines on it is what shade it is so like this one looks much more bronzy green whereas this eye looks a bit more purple so I'm gonna take a blending brush just get rid of that fallout. All right, so now contour. Contour is gonna be a difficult one for me because I'm in love with both Intensity One by Tom Ford and Gucci Westman's Biscuit. I've done a comparison video, I'll link it. Both blend really well. This one's a bit warmer of a tone, a bit cooler of a tone, maybe a bit more subdued, maybe a bit more dramatic. Love them both. Just different looks for different days. Uh, I think today I will go with the Tom Ford. And both of these, excellent to get at the Sephora sale. I'm using my Sigma Angled Cream Contour. Then I'm gonna take my Sigma Small Contour and blend it out. In terms of bronzer, my two favorites would either be uh, the Chanel Le Beige uh, Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream in Deep Bronze or Sun Fabric by Armani in 400. Concealer, I'm pretty loyal to my Luminous Silk by Armani in 4. In terms of blush, this would be another tough call. There have been a few that I have bought this year that I have really enjoyed. One being Chanel's Fleur de Pretemps. Beautiful natural color. Another being, and in all honesty, this one probably would be my most favorite, but Louboutin, so chic. You get the deep, and I just like to blend them both and just get the absolute perfect shade of pinky coral. 
The Last by Tom Ford, uh, Love Lust, another beautiful peachy shade. In terms of blush, I'm going to use my Louboutin today, one of my favorites, so chic. I'm applying it with my NYX makeup brush. In terms of highlighter, a, a tough decision. I really enjoyed the Love Shake Duo by Natasha Denona. It was a nice opalescent pink. Chanel again, Pearl de Lumiere, a beautiful one. Gives just a glass-like finish to the skin. Another Chanel would be the Sculpting, which gives again another glass-like finish. The Louboutin, one we just used for the blush. And then again, now I can't feel the Iconic Illuminator, which since we used that earlier, we're just gonna use it again. Didn't mean to put that much on my lips. Oh well, it's what you get when you hurry. My iPad keeps dying, so. Then I'm gonna take my Kevin O'Coin brush and just kind of blend this all out a bit. Hi, pencils. Uh, I will say lately, my favorite pencil pencils have been the Chanel Waterproof. Uh, I do also like the Stage Liner by Dior. It's a matte liquid liner. Uh, and then Marc Jacobs Blacker, which is more of a larger white belt tip. However, I'll say it did start to thread a little bit, so I wasn't really happy about that. I meant to order another one of that, and I accidentally ordered the Liquid Gel Eyeliner Blacker Highliner, which was more of a, a fine brush. Not a terrible purchase. I did just order the KVD, so that was my uh, one of my Sephora purchases. I forgot too to mention, in terms of powder, again, I'm very loyal. I just do the Chantecaille uh, Loose Powder in Ray. I don't always wear powder. It's lasted me a while, but it doesn't bother my skin. It's talc-free. It's just a great, great loose powder. It does not attach, as you can see, so it doesn't travel well. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna do my eyeliner and I'll be back. For mascara, it's either Dior Show's Blackout or Armani's Eyes to Kill, just the Classico. I'm gonna do my Dior Show today. In terms of brows, I either do the Kevin O'Coin. I'm gonna fill in like that. It gives me a fine, like a single lash, you know? You get like a fine application or and I haven't seen it lately, which I'm kind of freaking out about, but Tom Ford's Fiber Gel. It has been one of the best brow gels I've tried in a while. If you like more of the laminated brow look, Patrick Ta has a clear shaping wax. You just take your spoolie, um, wet it, and then apply, and then use it to laminate. Really enjoyed this as well. Patrick Ta, I'm gonna use my Chanel highlight just for a minute. You know what, I just realized I lied. When I talked about concealer, I said that I was strictly Armani and that's not true. I used my Touch A Clot in 0.75 sugar as well as high cover radiant concealer and then my brightening pen in two and one. Um, yeah, forgot about those. But again, get those at the YSL website and get buy one, get one free. Last but not least, lip. Y'all know I'm a huge fan of Dior, all things Dior, so any of your lip glows balms, oils, great time to stock up on those. Dior itself does not have much of a sale. You get like deluxe samples and they have a, a customer loyalty program, which is nice. But in terms of discounts on products alone, they don't really offer that. So Dior is a safe one to buy at your department stores or Sephora, unless you want that loyalty rewards. Honestly, I do order my products from Dior itself most of the time because I like those deluxe size samples that you get. But as I was saying, in terms of lips, I am a huge fan of, y'all know if you watch my channel a lot, the Pat McGrath's Contour Pencil. I use it in almost all of my videos, I feel like. Laura Mercier makes great lip pencils. Uh, Natasha Denona. Marc Jacobs, Chanel of course. I mean, I haven't been to an actual store to try on lip products in so long that probably my pencils are a bit out of date. I've just been doing the random, a lot of blind buys in terms of lip pencils. Oh, Armani, Armani, they're number six, they're number four. YSL, they used to have a number nine. I haven't been able to find that, but that used to be my go-to, six or nine, I don't know. Uh, but it was like a hot pink shade, all of my favorites. So lip pencils are pretty, I mean, 
I hate it if they bleed, uh, bleed into your skin. So I'm gonna use my Natasha Denona, Natasha. In terms of lipsticks, again, I would go Tom Ford, Dior, uh, YSL, Chanel, Natasha Denona, all beautiful, beautiful lipsticks. If you want to go the gloss route, uh, I really have enjoyed fancy lip glosses this year. Tom Ford, if you can afford them, gorgeous. I could, I actually have a couple Tom Fords in my cart, but they were sold out before I could make my purchase. So hopefully they get restocked and I'm able to get those. But Tom Ford's lip glosses are just, they're gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, again, Dior's glasses, excellent. Today I'm going to use my YSL. It's like a nude pink shade. My eyes are failing me, I can't see the... It's one of those oil and shine lipsticks though. Nude look to go with my look today. I also have a video just highlighting these, so um, check that out too. So if you do want a setting spray, again, I like to use my Amore Pacific Moisture Bound. If I need a refresher or Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Setting Spray is a great setting spray as well. You can also apply this before you put your makeup on and then finish it off with it as well. One thing, as much as I love Chanel, I was not that impressed with the new Coco Bloom. Being that I do have just feathered into my outside of my lips a bit and I hate that look. Their Coco Flash, on the other hand, I do really like. Something to keep in mind in terms of fragrance, also a great thing to stock up on during this 20% off sale. Killian, excellent, excellent perfume that normally there runs about $240 a bottle, so the 20% off makes a big difference there. Any of Chanel's, the new Gucci Gorgeous Gardenia I really enjoy. Dior's Blooming Bouquet I'm really fond of. There's a ton of niche ones but obviously the niche aren't on sale during the Sephora sales. The Tiffany Rose Gold I don't believe that they have that at Sephora. I actually should check that but um, really enjoyed that one this year too. So all in all some of my favorites from this year I'm sorry that some of them are kind of wishy-washy in terms of which to get because there's just so many to choose from particularly lip products or blushes or whatever. Actually I'm not sure that I love this lip with this. Might have to change my lipstick. It's a little bit dark. Put a little cupcake in on top. Anyway, so that's my uh, best ofs, my Sephora recommendations, and uh, recommendations for the year as a whole. I hope you enjoyed the content of this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can um, join our little family or community. I love talking with you guys, so please make sure to comment below. I feel so behind in all these videos I wanted to make. I've tried so many things that I wanted to tell you guys about, and it just it's hard to find the time to do it all with a kid and a full-time job. I hope to see y'all soon. I appreciate you all so much. Love you, and see you soon. Bye-bye.